the US large cap index S&P 500 managed to provide a convincing breakout of the medium-term downtrend that had plugged it for a quarter in the shadow of inflationary pressures and the Fed's required engagement to raise benchmark interest rates alongside the removal of liquidity provision. The approach to the July 18th high of 3,900 coincided with the breach of the resistance that constituted the upper limit of the downward formation. With a daily close of plus 2.76%, investors gave the impetus for the index to enter positive territory against any macroeconomic data that wants pressure on the equity market as a counterbalance to the high risk and the also high premium that will be demanded by those involved. Thus, with three consecutive positive sessions, the momentum remained strongly positive, with the next stop at 4,180 and supports at 3,885 near-term, 3,830 and 3,705 medium-term. Exit from long positions seems reasonable with a loss of 3,640 at the close of the day. Among the stocks in the 500, Netflix, which has been the highest weekly return of plus 18.39%, followed by Etsy and Bed Bath & Beyond, plus 17.42% and plus 17.14%, has made an impression lately. In fact, Netflix again recorded high trading volumes of around 180% of its midpoint, as did Akamai Tech, which yesterday outperformed with plus 4.86% and a turnover five times above its midpoint.